All right. Hello there, fellow traders, and welcome back to Rebel and a Trader. Today, we're diving into a trading strategy that is unpredictable as your ex-girlfriend's decision making. It's wait, that's terrible. It's the pullback method, but don't worry, this method won't ghost you like she did. Stick around because we're about to unveil the secrets of the pullback method using the 9 and 30 EMAs. And if you're hoping this method will pull out some profits, you're in the right place. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. EMAs, or exponential moving averages, are a critical part of anyone's trading kit, right? So those, those aren't your regular moving averages. The EMAs give more weight to more recent price data, making them highly responsive to market changes. They're like the radar of the trading world, helping us spot trends and reversals with precision. As we delve more into this pullback method, keep in mind that these EMAs will be our guiding lights, right? All right, so now it's time to set up these charts. First, while well, I'm using TradingView, right? So you can use whatever trading platform you have. This kind of indicator is on every single charting software there is. Um, pretty universal. So you want to open up your indicator tab here. You want to go ahead and get out your EMAs. Go to Moving Average Ribbon. It is one of the technicals right here. And you see it brings up a couple of different uh, EMA, a couple of different moving averages on the screen there. So what we need you to do here is we're going to go to the first one, change it to EMA, change it to 9, and change the color to red. Go to the second one, change it to EMA, change it to 30, and make this bad boy blue. You're going to get rid of this one, and this one, we don't need them. So that's it. That's literally all the indicators are using on for this strategy. Now, this will work on any time frame. I'm using um, the Bitcoin USD 15 minutes. I find that 15 minutes works really well, and I find that it works really well on Bitcoin. All right, let's understand this method a little bit here, right? So the pullback method. But before we dive deep in, into the strategy itself, let's grasp what a pullback really is, okay? So a pullback is when you see the overall market is going up like it is right here. And a pullback is this little area right here where the price kind of dips down but doesn't quite break lower and it keeps going up higher. This is the indication of a pullback. All right? It's a it's just a short-term reversal or a retracement in the direction of the prevailing trend. It's like a brief pause, a temporary step back before the the market goes up to its uh larger trend, right? So we're talking about using and identifying and capitalizing those temporary pullbacks with this strategy, the 9 and 30 EMAs. Um, the EMAs will help us spot these opportunities to ensure we don't miss out on any potential gains and uh, in the trend as that trend resumes. All right, so let's talk about how we enter into these positions, okay? So first, we're going to look at some bullish options here. You want to make sure two things are, are happening here. Number one, the 9 EMA, which is our red one here, is above the 30 EMA, all right? That indicates a bullish trend. Check. You want to keep your eye on this price action. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And you're going to look for a red candle, a bearish candle that pops below the 9, doesn't quite hit the 30 here, okay, and closes below the 9, all right? Once that happens, we go ahead and we say this is going to be our threshold right at the tip of the wick of that candle, okay? I'm just going to... So this is going to be when it when it goes when price goes past this threshold we're going to have what's called it's going to go into a we're going to take a long position right so as you can clearly see if you jumped in right here you bring this down either to stop losses for this strategy or is either the 30 EMA or the pull or the uh, previous low and then you just ride this to whatever stop whatever profit target you're comfortable with. I always go one to one because my trading strategies generally have a very high percent win rate, generally 75% or higher. You can see quickly and easily this one clearly met the price target very quickly. All right, and here's another one. I mean, this is only a few hours later. You can see right here, it goes down below. We have a red candle that closes below the 9 EMA. We go ahead and we're going to set right above this bad boy. You can see that this is going to be the threshold to take a long position right but you can also see it happens here too so there's another candle right next candle also does the same thing so technically there's two different thresholds here you can take either or or both all right so we jump in as soon as the first one here you can see this wick right here actually goes above that first one and you can take that primary stop you can take that first one right there go to your swing low down here and then ride that up or you can wait to that second one or do both which happens here. Again, go to either the 30 down here or the 
swing low and then ride that one up as well. Easy profits, easy targets. All right, so now let's look at some short positions, right? So for the short positions, it's going to be the opposite, okay? It's going to be when a green candle, right, goes up over the 9 EMA, and the red, the red are in our situation, the red 9 EMA is below the 30 EMA, and when you see that happen, you see a green candle closes above the 9 EMA. We take, we go, and we're going to set up ourselves a little threshold here, okay? And when price reaches this threshold, we're going to go and jump into a short position. As soon as it does right here on this candle, pull this up to the 30 EMA or the swing high, whatever you prefer. And you can see that quickly and easily jumps towards the profit target there, one to one, right? You can also see this candle right here did the same thing. Two candles later, same thing. And you see you want to take the threshold all the way down to the tippy end of the wick here. And that is also going to be a short position to jump into right about here on this candle. Same thing. Bring that all the way up. And that one quickly hits. And you can ride this further and longer if you want to use a different type of stop loss, maybe ATR, to help you navigate and find the fastest stop loss. Again, I just use a one-to-one -to, -one to make it simple. Okay, so that's a couple of short positions there. For risk management, it's essential to set that stop loss. If there's a significant gap between these two right here, see this big gap, you want to use the 30 EMA as your uh, stop loss. Um, alternatively, you can set it at one of those swing lows like I mentioned. Um, you're protecting your capital and maximizing your profit potential. Um, another way is when you see this EMA cross, your position is probably over, and you should, you should get out of your position at that point as well. Um, Cool. If you see right here, um, I did point out right here, see this position right here, this red candle? It is below the 9, above the 30, but the wick dips down below the 30. So if the if the candle in its entirety, wick included, crosses both candles you, or crosses the lower 30, you don't want to jump into that position, okay? In this scenario, it would have worked, but it's not normally a winning position. All right. All right, so don't stop watching yet, okay? Because there's one thing I haven't told you about yet. So here's the common pitfalls, right? You want to make sure you you uh, you know about overtrading. You never want to jump into too many positions. Um, you want to make sure you don't violate that good faith, right, uh, that your brokers loves to uh, hold you accountable for. You want to not ignore those stop losses. Don't just hope and pray that that position is the winner, right? And never, ever worry about that FOMO, that fear of missing out. Don't just jump into a trade because you haven't made any money today or you haven't seen anything pop up. Just use your use the plan. Stick with the strategy. So I alluded to this a little earlier, but you definitely don't want to get into a trade when the EMAs are super close together, okay? See how these EMAs are super close together? Even if one of these candles happen to look good, you want to make sure you're not trading in this because that's a range. You never want to trade into a range if you can possibly help it. And there you have it, folks, the pullback method using the 9 and 30 EMAs. But remember, practice makes perfect. So hit those demo accounts before you dive into the real deal. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with all your trading buddies. Thanks for hanging out today. Until next time, may the markets be ever in your favor.